Hey everyone, Bob here. Today, I'm gonna explain to you the ways in doing calculations on depreciation. There are ways of doing calculations. The machinery, the fixed assets that we're gonna be uh, calculating in terms of the depreciation will be the liquid filling machine like this one in the uh, photographs, okay? We have lines, we have the uh, bottle sprinkler, we have the uh, conveyor systems, and we have the filling, uh, federal filling uh, machine. Uh, this is a liquid filling machine. Okay, so um, the company who purchased this, uh, who purchased this kind of equipment is, will be uh, planning for the depression cost, I'll be planning for the uh, actual uh, operating uh, uh, or useful life of the machine. Uh, when is the when is the uh, company is going to operate the machine? What what would be the useful useful life or the life expectancy of the uh, machine? Is it are they going to plan for the five years utilization of the machine, or are they gonna um, plan for ten years utilization of the machine? So how much would be the depreciation cost of the machine per year or per month of operating the machine? Depreciation is very important because uh, you will know when would be the pay payback period of the machine, what would be, when would be the 100% uh, ROI or return on investment because this is a huge amount of uh, money that you're going to disburse to you know to acquire this uh, type of machines and this is the this is a state of the art machine that are being utilized or operated in in a manufacturing plant uh, like for example food manufacturing plant producing uh, liquids like juices and many other things okay many other products so there are two ways of doing the depreciation uh, calculations. One is the straight line depreciation and the other one is the uh, double declining balance method of the doing the, the calculating the depreciation, okay? So if the machine is, or the, rather the manufacturing plant is uh, underutilizing the machine, then the unit cost will be much greater because the uh, the uh, this is a fixed asset and it has a fixed you know fixed cost. So the in terms of the uh, utilization of the plant will uh, affect in terms of the uh, in terms of the cost because the uh, the machine is is a fixed value. It has has fixed value and has fixed uh, depreciation, okay? So if, if the, the plant is uh, underutilized, then the unit cost will be greater. And therefore, the, the profitability or the business will be, uh, you know, in terms of the cost will, uh, is higher and the profit will, be, will become uh, minimal. So this is the, the, uh, the, the, this is the job of the, uh, in terms of the planning department and the job of the uh, finance accounting to ensure that they have they have well planned the the depreciation because it will greatly affect as i said the uh, the profitability of the uh, the business okay so let's talk about the depreciation calculations for these machines and we'll start with the asset value what would be the asset value the value of these machines this, uh, you know, the acquisition price or acquisition cost. Okay, actually, I don't know the, the uh, actual uh, price of this or the value of these machines for a brand new machine. Um, but uh, we'll just make a guess. Let's say, for example, $150,000 uh, to, to acquire these machines. Okay, it's not, an, uh, okay, you can, if it is not the uh, right amount, we can just always change the asset value and, uh, and, the, the, and the calculation will, 
differ. Okay? So, the next one would be the salvage value. What is the salvage value? Salvage value is the value of the machine when you already uh, reach the end of the life of the machine. Uh, salvage value is the selling value. After using it, let's say for if you want, you're gonna you're gonna depreciate the machine for the next five years. Then at the end of the five years, on the fifth year, you're gonna sell it. So how much would be the value of that machine? You're, you're going to sell it to the market as a used machine. Okay. Okay. Let's just say ten thousand dollars. Okay. And the, the, uh, the company or the organization that's gonna buy it uh, as a, a second-hand machine, uh, maybe they're gonna refurbish it or they're gonna do some, uh, some repairs. And then this, this machine will go back as, uh, you know, will go back to operational uh, condition, okay? So the selling value or the salvage value would be $10,000. Oh, the in terms of the useful life of the machine, the company can decide whether they, they depreciate it to five years, depreciate it to 10 years, or they depreciate it to, to 15 years, okay? The problem is when you're, you're going to plan for a long-term or long-term use of the machine, operating the machine, okay? The, the maintenance would be greater, okay? You're going to incur huge uh, uh, amount of money to maintain the machine. This is not like if you're using machine, it's a brand new, or maybe the first year, second year, third year, fourth year, even fifth year, the, the machine is still good. And the, the, the budget that's gonna utilize for the repair and maintenance machine is minimal uh, on this period. But if it goes, let's say 10 years, 15 years, or, you know, or even uh, longer, the, the maintenance cost will be higher. So the, the management will decide how long they're gonna keep the machine operating for the production of their products. So I, I'm gonna say five years is too short for, for this. This is, like the, this is not like the vehicles, like the cars, the pickup trucks or you know some tractors, they depreciate it to five years. But this kind of machine will be depreciated in let's say 10 years. Okay. So now let's calculate the straight line depreciation. It's simple. Just use the SLN uh, function. That would mean uh, straight line depreciation, then open parenthesis. Then we're gonna get the uh, the hundred fifty thousand, which is the cost acquisition cost. Then press F four for the absolute sale reference, okay? Because it's coming from one area or one sale location. Then comma. The next one would be I'm gonna get the salvage value. This one, ten thousand dollars. Okay. Again F four. Then comma. Then the last one will be the life, useful life of the machine, which is 10 years. Then F4 again, then enter. So therefore, uh, straight line depreciation, you're gonna depreciate it to 10 years. And every year you're gonna incur $14,000, um, $14,000 depreciation cost until uh, the end of the 10 years, okay? So we're gonna put it uh, per year. So we're, I'm gonna put it year number one, year number two, and then just copy it down to make it 10 years. Oh, that's 11, I'm gonna get this one. Okay, so per year you're gonna have, you're gonna incur $14,000 uh, depreciation cost. Okay, this will affect the the business in terms of the uh, profitability in terms of the uh, net income or, or the revenue of the, the the company so f4 again then enter okay then uh, i'm gonna drag it down to get the rest of the so this is a straight line uh, depreciation so from first year all the way to 10 years 
$14,000 depreciation per year, okay? So this is what you call straight line depreciation. Even if the, if the uh, machine is already old, let's say already sixth year, on the sixth year, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth year, the depreciation is still the same, okay? Because you are, you are planning for the straight line uh, depreciation method, okay? There's another way of doing it. The, the, um, this is what you call uh, DDB or double declining balance method of depreciation. The DDB, uh, double declining is a, is a rapid or a accelerated you know, depreciation of the machine, okay? You're gonna depreciate in higher amount of money for the first, maybe first uh, three years, first four years or first five years or the first half of the, uh, the useful life of the machine, okay? And then the second half would be the amount of depreciation is much, much uh, smaller. So therefore, if, you're, if you have a smaller, when the machine is already not new and maybe there are already issues in terms of the uh, condition of the machine, so it's good that you have a smaller depreciation because if the machine is underutilized, it's not 100% uh, utilized or the, the, uh, also the, 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 the efficiency is low, then you are not going to worry about the cost of the depreciation that will affect the uh, profitability of your products, okay, of your business. So, okay, we're gonna get it, but first we're gonna get the uh, rate for DDB, which is, I'm gonna put num uh, two, two, factor of two. And then, um, okay, I'm gonna use the DDB function. DDB is double declining uh, balance function. Then open parenthesis. And then, okay, the first one is the, uh, and the argument is the 150,000 acquisition cost. Again, F4 for uh, absolute sale reference, then comma. The next one would be the salvage value, $10,000. Then again, F4. Then uh, the next one would be life. Okay, useful life of the machine. Again, F4, then comma. And then uh, the, ne the, the second one would be the period, which is this one. This is, okay, one year. I'm not going to put it as a absolute. This is gonna be a relative sale reference because we're gonna, we're gonna copy it down to, to uh, 10 years, then just put comma. And this, the last one of the argument would be the factor, which is rate for the DDB, the number two. And then again, F4, then close it and then enter, okay? So, in the first year, in, in terms of the DDB method, the depreciation per year would be $30,000. That's a big amount of money. Let's say on the second year. The second year would be $24,000. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, method that we're following, double declining balance, and becomes $19,000. That's why on the first three years, even for it, on the fourth year, still the, the depreciation cost is still higher you know, still bigger compared to this uh, straight line depreciation, which is only 14,000. Let's say the fifth year. The fifth year is already lower than the 14,000, which is 12,200 something. Okay, let's go all the way to 10, year, 10 years. Okay, this is the, the uh, double declining balance method of uh, calculating the depreciation cost. Okay, on the first half, of course, the depreciation is bigger. Okay, the first half of the uh, of the useful life is bigger, but on the second half, when you already have issues in terms of the maintenance, in terms of the condition of the machine, the cost will be depreciation cost will be lower. So this is good way of planning the depreciation cost because you know already that on the second half of the useful life which is on the, ne on the next five, five years, uh, the machine is already having condition issue. 
uh, they is already having a repair and maintenance issue, having repair uh, repair and maintenance high cost. Okay, then it will affect the production yield, and then it will because it is this is a fixed asset. Therefore, in the budgeting, you're gonna incur a fixed cost because this is a fixed cost. So if the plant is underutilized, then you still have depreciation cost, then the cost per unit will be affected. So this is how you are doing. So you, you decide which one you're gonna you know, implement if you are the manufacturing manager of one manufacturing plant, or you are the finance uh, manager. So you talk together in, with the, also with the GM, general manager, so you, you discuss this and you decide which one are you gonna implement? Are you gonna implement the uh, straight line depreciation? Or are you gonna implement the double declining uh, balance method of uh, depreciation calculation, okay? So this is, for, this is uh, another kind of business decision making, okay? So this is all I got for you today. This is the depreciation calculation uh, lesson that I'm giving you today. I hope you like it. I hope you like the presentation. And if you do, please don't, uh, please uh, subscribe and support my channel and like and share. And thank you for watching.